Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. So today I wanted to film another Ask Jack because I feel like I haven't filmed a Q&A in a while. So I went over to Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat, all the social medias, and I asked you guys to send me in some questions. So I'm going to go through them and answer all the questions. Okay, so this first question here says, what are you looking forward to in 2017? Honestly, probably just making more videos. I'm so excited now that I'm doing three videos a week and I'm just so excited to make more videos and better videos and just, I'm just, uh, I'm so excited to be doing what I love. So honestly, probably just making more videos. The next question says, what is your favorite thing about Toronto? Love you in your videos. Thank you. Um, my favorite thing about Toronto, I like how chill it is. Like it's just a very chill city. I mean, Canada in general is a chill place. Um, but I love how clean it is, how beautiful it is, how there's just so many awesome people here. And yeah, everyone's very like chill and it's not like, <laughs> did that describe anything? No, I just, it's a really chill city. So I like it. Okay, this next question here says, what emoji represents you and why? You know what, I use the sun emoji a ton. If you follow me on like Twitter or Snapchat, it's probably annoying, I overuse it. But um, it's the little sun, not just like the regular sunshine, but the sunshine with like the little smiley face. It's just, I just love it. He's just having a good time and I guess if I had to be any emoji, it'd be that one. Okay, this next question here says, hi Jacqueline, what's one thing you would go back and change if you were still in school? I love your channel. Thank you. If I could go back and change something in school. Mm, honestly, I was so miserable in high school. I did not enjoy it. I did not have fun. I mean, okay, that sounds, let me backtrack. That sounds like I had a completely awful time. Luckily, I was surrounded by really, like, great friends and really awesome people, which made it bearable. But I just, like, oh, I was just so miserable during that time period in my life. So, if I could go back, I would probably, like, work on myself and just try to be a bit happier and enjoy life a bit more because that probably would have made things a lot easier and just a lot more enjoyable. Next question says, you always have the best outfits. Where do you buy your clothes from? Honestly, I'm a very lazy shopper and I rarely ever go clothes shopping. But if I am going to go shopping, I normally just go to Wilfred. It's kind of like my one-stop shop. Um, if they don't have a Wilfred, I'll just go to like Aritzia. But Wilfred is like my go-to. Everything there is so beautiful and just so me. And actually, they just opened a new location at the Eaton Center. And it's like huge and beautiful. And I went in there the other day and oh, it is amazing. I mean, I don't normally ever go to the Eaton Center because if you live in Toronto, you you know that the Eaton Center is just like stressful and it's just a lot to deal with. Um, but I would definitely recommend checking out that Wilfred because it is so beautiful. Um, so yeah, basically just Wilfred to be honest. Is my knee in the frame? I hope you can't tell that I have not shaved my legs in a while. They're kind of getting out of hand. I'm just going to strategically place my hand on my knee. Um, the next question says, your skin is flawless. What is one thing that has changed? What is one thing you changed or improved on to make it so clear? Thank you, it's definitely not. First of all, let me just say that. Um, I am undergoing a treatment on my skin right now and I'm gonna do like a whole video talking about everything, kind of giving you guys a full update. So stay tuned in the next couple of months because that'll be coming out. Um, but also don't be fooled because when I film, I have all these lights and they make things look better. But my skin definitely has, it's progressively getting better, but I'm gonna be doing a whole video, so stay tuned on that. Okay, this question says, if you can meet any celebrity again, who would it be? Um, I'm really lucky, like, with my line of work, I do get to meet, like, some pretty cool people. But I think if I could kind of relive any experience, it would be probably my first experience kind of ever meeting anyone that I looked up to. And I must have been seven or eight. I was really young, and my mom actually took me to much music, ironically enough. And um, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen were there, and they were doing, like, interviews and stuff like that. So I remember we, like, stood outside, and I had my little, like, autograph book, and... Yeah, that was just like my first experience ever meeting these people that I looked up to and idolized at the time. And I think that kind of like really got me into pop culture and it was obviously like a really cool bonding experience with my mom and we've always kind of, you know, bonded over that type of stuff. So I think that was probably like that like turning point in my life as a seven year old that really got me interested into all that stuff and like, yeah, I don't know. So if I could reel at any moment, it would probably be that because I think I was like so starstruck and just so loving life so maybe that next question says what inspired you to get into makeup and fashion i think i've always been into it like i can remember being in the first or second grade and when i would do dance my favorite part was picking up my costume and getting it and like getting the new makeup and all that stuff so i think i've always been into that type of stuff i think really when i was in maybe grade seven or eight i kind of discovered youtube and like the beauty community on there and then i really got into makeup um but yeah i think it's always been something that interested me Next question says, what kind of advice can you give to people who are starting a YouTube channel or trying to grow their channel? Everyone says this, but honestly, you've just got to be you and 
really let your true self kind of shine through. Um, I also think too, like you should be doing it It'd be really hard, I think, to maintain a YouTube channel and do this as a job if you didn't really love it and you weren't passionate about it. So I think you really have to kind of like, I don't know, it has to be coming from the right place. Um, I think if you're doing it to like, you know, grow numbers or to whatever, like, it's going to be hard, I think. Um, and I think also if you focus on reaching certain numbers or hitting certain, you know, subscribers, obviously, don't get me wrong, like, that's something that you're aware of. Obviously, I'm aware of it too. But I think if you're just doing it for that or looking at that kind of end goal, it's going to be so much harder to get there. Um, but yeah, honestly, I think if you're just making videos from an authentic if you're making videos from an authentic place and you're just putting your true self out there, it will kind of all happen naturally. So I don't know if that really gives you any substance, but just do you and things will fall into place. If you could live anywhere in the world apart from Toronto, where would you live? I feel like it's super basic, but I've always wanted to live in California, like one day. I'm not sure exactly what area or where, but California is a great place and I just love going there. Um, I mean, obviously New York's a really awesome city, London's a great place, but I don't know. I don't know where I'll realistically end up, but I'm, I would love it. I'll take any of those places. What is the best vegan snack that a non-vegan would love in your opinion? Actually, you know what I feed a lot to my non-vegan friends or just really anyone that comes over? There's this brand, it's called Sweets from the Earth. I'm not sure if they're just like Canadian or whatever, but they sell them in like regular grocery stores and their cookie dough, like it comes like a frozen like cookie dough log. Um, their original chocolate chip cookie dough is just so good and I love like making those and popping those in the oven. And I feel like everyone so far that I fed them to, well, I mean, either they're lying to me, but everyone says that they love them. So I think they're really good. So maybe check out those or feed those to your non-vegan friends. What is your favorite eyeshadow palette? At the moment, probably Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita because it is just so beautiful. Favorite memory of 2016 so far? Honestly, 2016 has probably been like one of the best years of my life. Um, favorite moment though? Okay, I mean I have to say the Lush Factory Tour because that was just like an iconic moment for me. Um, I just, I dreamed of going there so that was super fun. So I guess my hat, oh actually no but the MMBAs were super fun as well. Ah, uh, okay, I can't pick. Either the Lush Tour or going to the MMBAs because they were both incredible. Okay, so this next question I think is just hilarious, so I have to include it. This says, do you miss your summer snack of box stuffing? Now, if you follow me on Twitter, or maybe it was Snapchat, I don't know where I posted it, um, but I had posted that I was obsessed with box stuffing and it's all I was craving for like four days straight and I just like ate it with every single meal. And it wasn't even like good stuffing, it was like pre-made like box stuffing. Um, and yeah, I was eating it a lot. So yes, I do miss my summer snack of box stuffing, but I haven't really been craving it. I think I just kind of like wore myself out after eating it for like four days straight. But anyways, we have a very good memory. Next question says, what accounts are your favorites to follow on Instagram? Um, okay, there's this really awesome account. Oh, I think her name's Annette. Let me pull it up. She basically just posts videos of her like mixing oil paints. I'm pretty sure she's from Vancouver as well, actually. Let me pull up what her um, handle is. Yeah, it's Annette Lebedeski. I don't think I pronounced that right. I will put her handle down below. Um, anyways, she just posts all of these videos of her mixing oil paints, and it's just so therapeutic, and I just appreciate it, and I thoroughly enjoy following her on Instagram. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Um, I've been subscribed to Philip DeFranco for like the longest time now, and I just really love his videos. I love how all of his videos kind of open a conversation. So I really like his videos. Um, of course, like Casey Neistat, all oh, the daily vlog just ended, and I'm actually excited to see what's to come. I think that's a really cool um, move for him. But yeah, Casey stuff is really great. Um, as for like beauty people, I'm really into Desi Perkins right now. She's just like a goddess. But I feel like my favorite YouTubers are always switching because I go through phases of like loving certain people. What are your favorite vegan places to eat in Toronto? Fresh, um, Hogtown Vegan, Apocalypse, Bunners, Bloomers, Doomies, and Tori's Bake Shop. What's the hardest thing about becoming slash being a vegan? Um, I honestly didn't really find the transition too hard, like cutting out certain food groups just because it, I mean, it wasn't a big deal to me. But probably like, it's just annoying sometimes when you go out to a restaurant and like you have to be that annoying person who's like asking the waiter like, oh, is there any cheese in this? And like, um, I don't know, just being annoying about it. So that's probably like the most annoying thing. I don't know if that's necessarily the hardest thing, but what is one makeup product that you wouldn't recommend? I think 
primers probably like I feel like primers are really overhyped there's literally primers for everything like I've tried eyebrow primers completely unnecessary um, like mascara primers like eyelash primers um, eyelid primers face primers lip primers like there's seriously a primer for everything and I mean sometimes the products can be nice but for the most part I'm not sure if they're really necessary and if you're like on a budget or you're just getting into makeup I probably would skip over primers I don't think they're a necessity what is your favorite song right now during the flop? By the way, I love it. Oh, that was so cute. My favorite song at the moment, I think it has to be um, Closer by the Chainsmokers and Halsey. The song is just so addictive, and I've been singing it for like the last like two or three months. Like I cannot stop. It's like a problem. Um, so that song is always in my head, so I feel like I have to say that song. Hey, girl. I love your videos. You're so much fun to watch. And my question is, what's your favorite workout routine? Mine's Pilates. Oh, oh, thank you. Um, my favorite workout routine. I'm like, I'm really into yoga. That's not really a workout routine. Um, I literally just like running and like bicycling and rollerblading and yoga. Sometimes I'll go to the gym and like do some weights and like some squats and stuff, but I honestly don't even think I have a routine. Like, I don't think I can classify it as anything. Actually, I did this really crazy workout class the other day. It was like a spin class and we were doing it to like Ariana Grande side to side. And it was the most insane workout class of my life. It was with like KTX Fitness, so it was, it was like, we were like booty popping on like the machine. It was like the craziest thing I've ever been to. It was hilarious though and so fun. And I was like such a hot mess. But yeah, the cycling class, I don't think that was like regular cycling classes. It was like taken to the next level. But that was very interesting to say the least. Then um, I was just wondering what your fav all time favorite shower gel from Lush is. My all time favorite shower gel from Lush. Ooh, this is so hard. I mean, I love Happy Hippie. Do they still do Happy Hippie? I feel like that was discontinued for some reason. I hope it's not. Um, Lord of Misrule. Oh, Yuzu and Coco, for sure. Yuzu and Coco shower. Yuzu and Coco shower cream for sure is my all-time favorite. And the last question that I'm gonna do for now. Hi Jacqueline, I just want to say I'm your number one fan and I watch all your videos and I love you so much. And my question to you is, why do you respond to my text? Because I love it. <laughs> oh my god, that was my friend. I was not expecting that. Hi Megan, I'm sorry that I don't respond to your text. I'm a really bad texter. All of my friends know this. I'll open things and I don't reply. I don't mean to. <laughs> oh, I'm so embarrassed, Megan. I'm sorry. Okay, so those were all of the questions for today. Thanks guys so much for sending in all your questions on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and all the things. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias. That way you don't miss out the next time I do an Ask Jack. And hopefully you can get your question featured in a video. So thanks guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already because I post new videos on Monday, Tuesday, no I don't. I post videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. This is Anna, my dear friend. Now, you may have heard about her because...